hello everyone welcome back to the channel and today in this video we are going to take a look how to set knob defaults in nuke so as you can see i have this blank nuke canvas and i open the this script editor where we going to set the defaults uh, the knob defaults so what does that mean if you take any node like merge or maybe the uh, like scanline render so these are the node and we can set any of the value by default when when we start the new first time like i want the mix always a 0.5 or i want this merge operation always uh, plus like that so we can set this by default uh, like which if you take the vector blur and in the vector blur as you can see i already set the default uh, uh, default uv channel as you can see by default it's taking the motion but if you don't set it by default set to none so you have to select the motion channel but i set it uh, by default when it's open when when i open my nuke it's already set whatever i want and as you can see uh, in my viewer as you can see my resolution is by default is hd because if i show you this thing the root i have set it this to when this is open it's all always set to hd by default is it's a 2k so this one this one so if you open nuke by default it's always this 2k super 35 resolution but i set it manually to when i open my nuke it's always set to hd how to do that let's quickly see in this script editor and then we will add this uh, command into menu.py so once we open the nuke every time it will load all the settings and we will get our uh, default settings first thing you have to open the script editor and how to do that let, let me close this one and close this also so this is my new, uh, layout you can click here on this square icon and go to window and you can open new script editor so it will open here so i'm just clicking and placing here so i can see my node draft and the script editor at the same time so first thing we need to take a node which i want to set a default parameters let me quickly select uh, one of the nodes okay so i'm taking this id stored one and as you can see in this one i already set it to take the channel from motion so by default it's set to i think none so and as you can see it's all also telling me uh, it will apply to all channel let's see i don't want to apply on all channel so i can change it here let's see rgba only so what if i take another id stored it's back to all channels so we need to set this by default so it will automatically uh, it will always be our gb so for that first thing we need to uh, type the command so the command is like nuke dot knob default so this is the command nuke dot knob default in the bracket so now we can type uh, so so the first thing we need to know the uh, the node class so you may think oh this is the id store so we can just copy this name and add it here so it's not like that so to know the no node uh, class we need to select this node and press i once you press i you will see this window and it will tell you the information about this node and everything but we are only worrying about this class as you can see this is the class and it's called id store but here as you can see we can see the id stored one but here it's saying id stored only so you can just copy this one paste here like that and then we have to add a dot okay and then uh, now we specify the node i want to affect i want to edit parameter on this id stored node so now we have to select the parameter so in this one i want to use the channel just hover over and as you can see it's saying channel so this is the name so we can add like so i want to change the channels and then add a call and close this one and then add a comma and then again in this one and and then we have to add uh, whatever you want so in the channel i want to use rgb so i can just type it here rgb so that's it and then you can hit this this button to run this command and as you can see it's run now if i take the id store again so as you can see by default it's always setting this rgb so no matter if i take one more again as you can see it's taking rgb 
and you can uh, change any parameter of this node or any other node so for example let's see we can click this button to get this uh, command again and you can just copy and paste it here in the bottom so now let's see we can change uh, this, uh, this this filter so as you can see it's saying filter don't look at this name just hover over and you can see this name is come filter so what you can do id stored and instead of channel you can just add filter so make sure the name is matching so it's matching filter and then you can change on any of these filters so let's see impulse i want so i'm selecting impulse here just to get the name i'm just typing impulse and just run this one okay. so now if i delete and take the id start again as you can see now it's rgb and it's saying impulse here but if i close you can uh, start again uh, this setting will disappear because we we need to save this new uh, knob default in in our menu.py then every time we'll every time we run the new it will load all these uh, knob knob defaults as you can see i in i set a lot of knob defaults so as you can see in the scan render i also set uh, the overscan is 100 and the shader i turn off this uh, motion vector and output vector everything so making my scan line is very uh, uh, fast so this is the way you can uh, set the knob defaults and as you can see uh, you don't have to type this every time what you can do i'm just uh, doing this one i'm just selecting this knob defaults and i'm assigning a variable so let's see i'm assigning n n equals to this one so what i can do i can just delete this one instead of all these things i can just add a n here and here also i'm just deleting everything I'm just adding n and i'm running this again see it's running perfectly and now i can take the id stored again and everything is applying perfectly as you can see so this is the very clean way you can do that just assign a variable so and then you can do this all these things so we so we want to save this one in our new menu.py so what you can do you can directly save from this uh, script editor so as you can see here we have this save script and load script button so what you can do you can just click on save script it will uh, directly go to your menu.py as you can see here i can open my menu.py here but i already have that what i can do i can just click here load script and i can open this one and as you can see i can show you so these are the things i saved as you can see a lot of the menu.py so the roto one and the expo exposure one so i will show you what is the roto one so if you take a roto so i set it this uh, clip to no clip by default set to format so what this basically give you so if i draw a roto like this and if i view this one so as you can see we can we can have a roto data outside the canvas but in the new by default it's set to format so it will cut your data so if you do a projection you loan you uh, don't have a data outside your format so what i did i set it this one roto clip to no clip and similarly to the uh, this one exposure see this exposure i set it uh, this uh, stop by default i think is uh, density so i set it uh, this to stop and as you can see the naming is very different sometimes so as you can see the exposure is saying like exposure but here is exposure tool exp tool so that's why that's why i told you to always select this one and press i then you will see the class name so this is not a exposure it is exp tool so you have to select you have to copy this name and then you can add here and then you can do your stuff so always select node press i and as you can see this is saying roto see the spelling and all that so that's how i did uh, all this erode vector blur and uh, shuffle uh, in the shuffle what i did so you can do also stuff like this so as you can see in my shuffle as you can see we can see the rgba is coming so what i did in this one i can i can also add this uh, value so we, we are adding a value so what i did here i, I go to my node tab and and i added uh, this value dot in so i can see the value of this rgba so the value in one so this one so if i change this on alpha so i can see the alpha 
so how to do that so basically just you need to know so this is the node node tab so in the shuffle the same thing you can see the shuffle the label i mean this label tab and then you can add this uh, value dot in so i did this in in this one and also uh, this switch as you can see in the switch also have this uh, value uh, command and i can have this 102 and i can see here so in the label i restored and as you can see scan line render i set it uh, three in the scan line render the over scan and the motion blur and the scan line over scan amount i think i added it twice as you can see so i don't need twice so i can just uh, delete this one like that and i can save this again so and as you can see in the card i also said that if you create a card so by default it's set to 8 by 8 so which is we don't want that much so i set it to 5 by 5 as you can see in a row and the column separately and as you can see this is the format i did so as you can see so new dot uh, knob defaults and the root format so as you can see so if you press s so so this is the root tab as you can see so we need to add a root and then if you hover over it will tell you this is a format so i added a format here and in that i selected the hd one so for that i just select this one here and type it exactly how this is label here so this is the hd one so i type it this one in this bracket and then everything good to go then i run this one and everything is looking pretty good so and once you type this one just uh, go here and save your script and you can select your menu.py and just you can save it here and if you want to edit you can just click here and you can load your script here also so this is the way you can set your new default it's very useful always set your new default because uh, it will increase your speed i set it this this many it's very efficient and it's very good so this is the based on how how you comfortable you can set your new default for any of the values so you can see any of the values you can set here so this is how i did and this is the way you can do so thank you for watching if you have any questions let me know we will see you in a way next one have a great day